In this video, I'm going to show you how to do speed ramping in Premiere Pro, which is a great way to incorporate a variety of speeds, both fast and slow, throughout one clip. For time remapping, I'd start by expanding the layer that your video is on by hovering over this little line right here, clicking and sliding it up. This gives you more room to work with on your clip. Then just right click on this little effects thing in the top corner, go to time remapping and change it to speed. That'll put a white line right down the middle here and that's where we're gonna put our keyframes to change our speed throughout the clip. Now you can do that in two ways. You can either click on your clip and then add keyframes right here. So you'd go to where you want the slow-mo to start, for example, so right there, and you could click a keyframe to add that in right there, or you can hold Command or Control and click on the white line. Either way, it's gonna add these little bracket things that you see right here, and this is how we're gonna control the transition from one speed to the next. What these lines have done is actually separated this clip into different speed sections. So what I'm gonna do is just change the speed of this middle section right here. So to do that, all I have to do is hover till I see this little up and down arrow thing, click, and then slide down to go slow-mo and slide up to make it go faster. So I'm gonna slide it down. You can see it's already expanding to make the clip longer or this section longer. And I'm gonna go down to about 20%. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see that the video expanded to be slower but the thing that sucks about this effect is that the audio does not transition with it. So if I play this, it's gonna go regular speed to slow-mo here for the video, but the audio is still playing regular. And then when it goes back to regular, it's gonna be off right there. Now I'm gonna show you how to kind of fix that later, but for now, I'm just gonna mute the audio because it doesn't matter for anything we're doing right now. Okay, so to manipulate the transitions, all you have to do is separate these little bracket things. Because right now it's just going from regular speed and abruptly changing to slow-mo. But we don't want that. We want a gradual transition. So what you do is you click on a bracket and just slide it so you separate them. So you make this ramp now. So in this case, it would go regular speed and then slowly transition into slow motion here. But you can also change how this works as well by just clicking on one of the brackets. You get these little handles and you can pivot this to now make it more of a ramp. So it's gonna go regular speed and then slowly start to transition, then go fast into slow-mo, and then gradually drift into the speed that you want. I would suggest at this point you watch your clip so you can see how that transition happens. If you want it to be slower, then just expand these out, either both of them or one of them, to change where the transition happens. Or you click on a bracket and you might wanna change how the transition is happening by pivoting these handles. But just know that you can add as many of these in as you want. So maybe I can add another one right here, expand this one out, and maybe I put this in, you know, fast forward. Maybe I go here, add another one, crank this way down to 1% so it expands out, and you can, you know, mess with those. So now if we watch this, we go from slow-mo, ramps up to regular speed, goes really fast, forward. and then boom, into one last slow motion. And once again, you can still mess with time interpolation. This time, just right-click, and go right here to time interpolation and pick the one that you think best fits your footage. As for fixing the audio, it's kind of annoying, but it is doable. So all I would suggest is going one transition at a time using your razor tool. I'd lock the video and then just slice right there and change it to the speed that the slow-mo part was. So if I go on here and right click and go to speed slash duration, this section was 20%. I'm gonna click okay. Then just go back to your razor tool, slice at the next transition, and then go back into speed duration and put it to whatever the speed for that section is and just keep going one section at a time. Then I would just make sure to go over to effects and go into audio transitions, into crossfades, and I just drag a constant power on these to help the audio kind of transition. For other Premiere Pro tutorials, make sure to check out the videos linked in the description below or on the screen right now.